Yeah, we're gonna keep doing that for sure. So when will we see the rap record? I think it's on iTunes in three weeks. Oh all yeah, wow, so, okay, cool. Yeah, again, so the rap stuff, Tall Guy Short Guy, we have, it's a nine songs, and then uh, we have the Renee Gillazo, which was five songs, and then all the comedy stuff, and we're gonna be selling all that on iTunes. We just figured out how to do it. We're like an enterprise now. Right, yeah. we're trying to, and then as soon as we come back, we're doing some, we're, we're starting like to record some new yeah. Johnstone stuff. <laughs> we just need little, uh, little dolls. Yeah, bobbleheads. Yeah, yeah. You're all good with bobbleheads. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we never, if someone's asking you what you're up to, we always want to have a good answer, so, you know. Yeah, you guys seem like you're pretty busy. Um, yeah, we try to keep busy. Okay, so what about new music with the Johnstones? As soon as we're back from this tour, we're, we're, going, we're going to the studio, to the studio and starting to do our first round of demos. Okay, cool. And then we've been working on a bunch of stuff, and yeah. then like, we're just waiting to put it down. So, so you guys do have stuff? Yeah. Oh, yeah, like right tons of the... stuff. We've been writing basically since the last album came out, and as soon as we're back from this tour, we're starting to put it down, and it's, it's, it's sounding amazing, so we're and pretty we're stoked actually, about yeah, that. Yeah, we're super excited about it. Cool. Uh, I interviewed Matt from the Planet Smashers about a month ago, and it was 15 years of Stomp. Yeah, is what we were talking about. Right, so right. You guys are part of that family, and I wondered yeah, if you guys course. had a favorite Stomp Records memory in celebration of 15 years. Favorite Stomp um, Records memory? They, well, uh, they gave us the catalog number 69. Um, they saved it for us. <laughs> That's Fitting. pretty cool. I know. That was pretty funny. And then our DVD, too, when, they, when it released. I don't think they've had 69 DVDs on Stomp's catalog, but they gave us 699. Really? Yeah, I don't know I if didn't you know noticed that. that. So I think that's pretty funny. That's yeah. pretty cool. You got on stage with the Plant Smashers as a youth, right? Yeah. Jared, when, when you were, yeah. No, when we were in grade nine, like, I think Jared got on the stage and sort of did the I dance. They're dancing. Oh. Jared, you're the man! That kind yeah. of thing. Well, I remember the last time I interviewed you guys, you were telling me about how much, like, when that actually happened, you guys were like, holy Yeah, smokes. for sure. It was super cool at yeah, the time. Yeah, we, well, because we, we, we grew up listening to, like, Plants and Masters and stuff, right? Like, they were, like, our fave. Yeah. Our fab. Great band. Yeah, they're wicked. Fabricated. Yeah, so when we got to join the family, we were all stoked about it. Um, there was something else I wanted to ask you. Oh, yeah. Last time I talked to you guys as well, you had mentioned that you met Alan Cross at a barbecue yeah. and that you thought that he was uh, incredibly good looking. Yeah. You thought he was going to look you yeah. thought he was going to look more like Gandalf. Am I right or am I wrong? Well, he just looks so yeah, he looks he <laughs> sounds youthful. so wise. He sounds yeah. wise. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, no, he's he's a, he's a good looking guy. He's agile. He could be he could <laughs> probably beat me in a sprint. I don't know if he's on the market, but I mean if he is, watch out. <laughs> I don't Do you guys have, he, could, he could definitely beat you in a sprint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you he guys have a lot of chin-ups? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have a message for Alan? Because last time you, you had some pretty funny comments, so I figured this time I'd ask uh -oh. the same question. Well, we actually did a show um, the other day, and I was saying, we, uh, when, and we were talking about the differences between like indie indie rock and indie uh, indie music, like like independent music and the genre of indie. And I was saying that he needs to be doing more e editing Wikipedia and sort of being the the guy who's saying, all right, this is this and this is that. <laughs> yeah. I think, yeah, Clarifying everything. Yeah, Clarifying the lines. Yeah, yeah. I'm there on Wikipedia editing it more. So that's and what I think. Cool a beard. Yeah. <laughs> a beard. Get a wizard. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a wizard because you can't do that. It just looks stupid if you don't have one. Yeah, if you're talking about something really smart and you're not twisting your beard, it's just <laughs> you're an idiot. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys listening to that's brand new that you like right now? Uh, the new Gorillaz album. I've been listening to that a lot. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. I yeah, I guess we have been listening to that a lot in the van. I mean, uh, there's a track with Lou Reed on it. It's really awesome. Yeah. Right. What a cool I haven't heard the full cool record. Song. It's pretty. Uh, they're, they're cool silo. It's like conceptual, but it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Nice. Anything else you guys Yeah, I would agree with that one. I mean, I've been I've been into a whole bunch of different stuff, but yeah. oh um the uh, the oh what's that the Lords that's a new band that's the pretty Lords? cool to check out yeah well, I've never I've never heard yeah of they're like this cool punk band from Cali and it's like they were sort of a, a bunch of different guys but they're a really cool band to check out uh, I read that the Transplants are putting out a new record I figured really? you guys were stoked on that yeah oh we didn't even know that yeah they are oh, I didn't know that oh that's they're awesome. talking about it anyways that's incredible yeah. I just remember I gotta, that. I when did you that. hear that? Uh, it was on Punk News. Like Tim Armstrong is like my sort of like my idol. He's like my favorite guy of all time. Well, who else? I mean, we we we've done this before, but five bands right now that every kid out there needs to own albums. We'll say um, five essential records, and I know just the whole, whole can, anything that Tim Armstrong, Armstrong catalog. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, well. Oh man, so you, I, I'm more, I'm interested in this. When did you get this news beat? I'm like all excited. I, I just read it. They're doing it. They're in the studio. No Barker's way. Oh, they're same. actually in the studio already. They're working on a new record. It's wow. like Tim Armstrong, Barker, and Skin and Rob. Yeah, it's the Transplants. That's awesome. All right. Yeah. Wow. What I'm a good, what a good piece of information. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. The first album was I, I really liked the first album. The second album was okay. Uh, there was a couple really good songs. It wasn't quite as good. Yeah. Yeah. There was some exactly. There was some good songs. It was good. I liked it. We, we pump a lot of that one. Booyah we Tribe is kind of cool. They were on it. That was a great song. It <laughs> yeah. was like the summer song. Yeah, yeah those guys um, were so cool. The big Samoan guys with the, yeah. the braids and stuff. Yeah, those guys were great. I would not fight them if you're, you're No. For any <laughs> amount of money. No. Out of bar, no. yeah. Some no way. Up to you. 
break. Again, the cred would go up, though. The cred would, That's would true. Go up. Well, well, for Renee, you know, I yeah. wouldn't be there to enjoy the cred. I'd be in the hospital. So. Yeah. Um, but no, seriously, like five albums. Five albums. Five albums that a kid okay. needs to, um, to go out there and buy right now. All right. The Johnsons can't be trusted. Okay. Out of Cocaine Bear, 1984. Okay. Out of Cocaine Bear, 1984. Out of Cocaine Bear, 1984. Out of Cocaine Bear, 1984. Let's go with, how about ill communication? I'd say licensed to ill. Licensed to ill. You know, it's already, I don't, well, you, I can't. Check do, your head. Ah, Paul's boutique, run up. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to throw um, Thriller out there for Renee. Wow. Thriller. All right. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, one more. I mean, let's see. Ready to die. Victoria. Ready to die. All right. Victoria. Let's do it. You got to get some wrapped in there. Like yeah. Uh, <laughs> and the summer, how stoked there. are you guys in the summer? Because you guys are kind of. The quintessential summer band, you know, like I oh, think summer sure, and I think yeah. Johnstones, you know. Yeah, I mean? we need to hurry up and get some songs out before, <laughs> yeah, I know before we miss it. And especially for filming and stuff, <laughs> we miss like our I demographic. Mean, yeah, uh, especially especially these days, man. It's gonna probably rain all summer, like not. Uh, I don't. Well, happen. it's just nice that we can take our parkers off and just walk around yeah. t-shirts. Oh, yeah, and thanks I mean, for not showing up thing. in diapers, by the yeah, way. Yeah, we were gonna show up in diapers, but we heard it was gonna be a little mainly bit guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they <laughs> they refrained. Next Jerick time, Jerick Soiled is on the way here. Oh, you're in the whole thing. I was like all stoked. I was on the way to go grab the diapers, and Ryan's like. No, we're not doing the diapers. <laughs> awesome! Whatever. Next time, I watched it. Next time, you guys come in in diapers, and then we'll get Alan in here with like a wizard suit. Okay, and you, know, and you we'll can't just... know that we're doing the diapers. Is no, it? we won't. Yeah, and we won't tell you that he's actually dressing up as a wizard. <laughs> <Something like> that, <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll bring a wizard. Thanks so much again, man. Always a pleasure. Yeah.